Alright guys, we're here with uh, 4.3.1 on Tether Jailbreak. Now this will work for all these devices that you see here. iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4 GSM, which means AT&T only, no Verizon. iPod Touch 3G, 4G, iPad 1. There will never be an iPad 2 Jailbreak for like a month. All right, and the Apple TV 2G will not be available for Windows users. It'll only work on Pony Tool, which is only for Mac OS X. So let's get this started. Alright, so as we're gonna demonstrate this on iTouch 4G, it's pretty cool. Alright. Now, what you wanna do is be on 4.3.1 firmware. You wanna download Red Snow RC9. I'll have all these in the description. So open this, and you want your firmware file too. I'll have that in the description. Browse your firmware file, put it on an easy place such as your desktop. You don't want to be a retard and put it in somewhere in your hard drive and you can't find it. Alright. You got that. Now patch all these kernels and whatever. Set up your jailbreak. Now this is an untethered jailbreak, which means you could turn your iPod on and off without having to boot it tethered. So here's your list of options right here. You want battery percentage just because it's like more accurate, whatever. Custom bundle, you don't even need it because you're not a developer, hacker, whatever. Alright, now turn your iPod off. Now, if you're just newly updated to 4.3.1 and your Apple mobile device USB driver was never installed, then you're gonna have a problem. I ran into this when I first updated and it didn't let me finish the jailbreak. It got stuck when it was uploading the RAM disk. So, just make sure. Put it in the DFU mode ahead of time so it installs the driver, then just bring it into this. Okay, so it's off and plugged in, whatever. Next, holding down power button. Holding home and power. Five, four, three, two, one. Get rid of the home button. I mean, power button. <laughs> Never let go of the home button. Jailbreaking. Waiting for the eye touch. Now it uses Lime Rain, of course. Every jailbreak from that has been used by Lime Rain from like 4.1. Uploading RAM disk, and you should have the jailbreak icon right there. On your screen. All right, and the RAM disk is uploaded. And code should be running on your screen. It's like this. And we'll keep going now. With this, you're gonna get Cydia 1.1, which is the newest Cydia. And this thing is said to be two times faster. And it's already built into the jailbreak, so you don't even have to custom install it. Or you don't have to update it when you get to the Cydia page on your home screen. So yeah, you just gotta let these codes run down. And I will come back when they are done. Alright, so when the encryptions are done, you're going to get that little original pineapple that if you use Redstone in the past, it always pops up and it'll move applications and install the bundles. That only takes like 30 seconds. This is your first time, it might take a little longer, but then it should just boot up regularly. You should have a regular boot logo here. Alright, then just slide it, unlock it. Look at that. If you just update it from 4.2, you don't even need to restore. Keeps all your icons and everything. Now, City has a little white icon. It'll always be on your second page. It's right in the bottom right. Just want to click that. Boom. Should prepare file system. Loading. Okay, it'll pop up with all your essential upgrades. And that's it, guys. Red Snow. All devices except iPad 2, if you want Apple TV, get a Mac.